This is the Polytechnic Ileife Chief Dr. Raymond Adedonyiwe near Hilton Hotels, Parakin of Balufe Ileife. The Polytechnic Ileife is federal government approved. It has accreditation of its programs by the NDTE. The Polytechnic Ileife is listed in the JAM brochure. Courses offered are National and Higher National Diplomas in Accountancy, Business Administration, Electrical and Electronics, Computer Studies, Computer Engineering, Mass Communication, and Statistics. Candidates wishing to change their polytechnics of choice to the Polytechnic Ileife are to contact the registrar, the Polytechnic Ileife, Chief Dr. Raymond Adedonyiwe, near Hilton Hotels, Parakin of Balufe Ileife, or our Lagos office, Odudua Plaza, 213, Egbeda, Idimu Road, Idimu, Lagos. Telephone 080-5656-5656 or 080-5855-5558 or our website www.thepolytechnicife.com The Polytechnic Ileife, yes, the first private polytechnic in Nigeria. As we all know, the world is now a global village. And um, education is not just about attending lectures, it's not just about writing examination. Education goes beyond those two. Education is not just about a student passing through the four walls of um, the, um, the high institution, but it also entails the high institution passing through the students as well. So on this note, you will agree with me that global education is very vital in molding our students, especially the youth of this generation. And like I said earlier, the world is now a global village. The mission of this center is to position Ujujua University as a globally preferred institution and to make our students to be able to compete with other students outside the country, irrespective of location. That is to say that the fact that they are studying in Nigeria should not make them just restricted to Nigeria, but they should be aware of what is happening around. And this can not only be achieved by just browsing or surfing the internet, but it could also be achieved by giving them opportunities to travel abroad, travel outside the countries, so they can have the feel of other people's culture. And this and many more will add to their level of education, which we believe that by the time they return to their own country, which is Nigeria, they'll be able to compete with other people and they will also be able to contribute their own quota to this uh, country, being a developing country. And with this in mind, we believe that if we continue like this, the youth of this generation will transcend and, in, and, in, and improve the image of the university and the country Udua University has established relationship with uh, universities in the United States, universities in the United Kingdom, universities in Russia, and so on and so forth. Recently, we went to Russia and uh, we had a relationship with uh, St. Petersburg Electrotechnical University. That university was established in 1886, and the radio that we have today was established uh, from that very university. The professor that discovered it actually came from that university. And uh, we, we offer electronics and electrical engineering in our university. It's one of the reasons why we chose uh, St. Petersburg Electrotechnical University in Russia because we want the students to feel the impact of uh, the old universities and see the, how, it, how it relates with the current situation. Uh, this university, we go there and we saw a lot of facilities, we learned a lot of things from there. At the end of the day, we were able to enter into an agreement. The agreement is simply that uh, Lecturers from Odudua University will be able to travel uh, to Russia and uh, teach there while the lecturers from Russia will come to our university to teach. Also, uh, when our students get to part three, they will be able to go to Russia and uh, 
there are students there who are also willing to come to Africa, who also come to Odudua University here in Nigeria. It's one of the advantages that uh, we get from uh, exchange programs that we embarked on, and the students are so much interested in it, especially uh, the universities that we have relationships with in the United Kingdom and uh, the United States of America.